The James Bay Crees have long held a belief that from their stories, songs, and ways of life flow the fabric of a unique and treasured culture. And Sjaugmuk, the Cree Cultural Institute, is a breathtaking realization of their vision. A museum, archive, library, teaching center, and cultural center, and primary location for the preservation of documents, media, and the physical objects that form the Cree's material culture. Cree people are unique, and they have a unique history, and they have a unique tradition, they have their own language, culture, and so forth. And I think that's uh, something that uh, they need to tell the world. And the North, uh, particularly in UST, is uh, right now the center of, of attention for development. And people are interested, and I think are becoming to know more and more about the Cree people and the fact that they occupied the the territory, and uh, we, we, we need to uh, get that information out, you know, who the Cree are, what the USG is all about, and, uh, you know, and, and, and where the Cree want to go uh, in the future. And we better preserve it, and we better start talking about it, and, and perhaps maybe we start thinking of how we can pass on that knowledge, because our younger ones uh, may not have the chance to go out on the land, so you start thinking about buildings <laughs> uh, where you can preserve your, your culture, where you can have a, uh, a, an avenue where you can showcase of who you are. Reactions to the new facility have been universally positive. Part of the reason is that it is fundamentally different from most other institutions of its kind, with curators and archaeologists on the floor and interacting with visitors, with elders teaching and sharing, with a sophisticated virtual museum presence, and with an over-abiding philosophy of respect for the process of knowledge transfer. One of the things that the elders had said was that Anstegma was needed in order to be able to, they knew that their lifespan was, 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 was short and that there wasn't very much time for that generation of our traditional knowledge keepers to be able to pass on that knowledge. But they also knew that they needed a place where they could house the history and, and preserve and um, collect the cultural heritage of the Cree nation for the sake of the next generation, otherwise it's going to be lost. The Institute boasts approximately 30,000 square feet of working space, divided into gathering and performance spaces, exhibition and programming areas, a documentation and research center, along with first-class storage, research labs, administration and conservation spaces, and office areas for Cree entities concerned with language, traditional pursuits, arts and crafts, and tourism. Certainly, uh, nation building is, of course, built upon pillars. One of the pillars is preservation of cultural and language. It's a long journey to, to, to be able to recognize, because you're fighting so many fronts, that the importance of, of recording uh, of your history, the importance of recovering the, the artifacts, the, the importance of showing, showcasing in, in a center, what we have to call the Anstiogan Creek Cultural Institute, uh, of, of your way of life. So you can promote it, and you can also uh, uh, share it with the young people. So, so when the, the future generation, whether they be Cree or non-Cree, uh, whether they're Canadians or non-Canadians or, Co or Quebecers, that they can come in and be able to, 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 to reflect on, uh, on where we came from, the struggles we went through, and, and, and the successes. Now that the Anschagama Cree Cultural Institute is up and running, a community of informed donors is coming forward to equip and endow this extraordinary place. A world-class collection is an essential component of any fully functioning museum. It provides the core resource for research, exhibitions, and programs. Over time, 
The reputation of a museum grows based on the quality of its collections as much as on its staff, its architecture, its presentations, or its programs. The strategic acquisitions component of the fund is the product of a thorough acquisitions plan, focusing on key permanent additions to the collection in archaeology, ethnology, traditional arts and crafts, political history, contemporary art and music, and assets for the Center's archives. Executive Director Stephen Inglis explains. As far as acquisitions and collections go, this was starting from zero, really. There weren't any collections associated with this institution when we started. So that's been one of the most interesting challenges. But there's been an interest in archaeology, so we have access through uh, professional work to some materials that show the 5,000-year history of people in this region and of the Cree people. But finding other objects and finding collections that we might be able to get access to has been a very interesting process. And partly it's our process, it's partly a detective search, it's looking for private uh, objects that may be available for sale. But it's also looking at large museums and uh, large collections elsewhere and ways in which those institutions are sharing with us through information, through loans, and so forth. The acquisitions program is coupled with an endowment program designed to help Anschagoma grow, flourish, and meet long-term goals. Funding from this endowment will be earmarked for stewardship of the collections, educating the next generation of Cree human resources so they can gain the skills that will allow them to join the Institute's team scholarships and bursaries for young Canadians, especially young Crees, to study archaeology, anthropology, ethnology, and other museum-related disciplines, academic and applied research projects, moving technology forward, ensuring the expansion of the groundbreaking technologies that allow access to the collections and programs from anywhere in the world. Most museums uh, rely to some extent on the generosity of donors and of contributors of various kinds who look at these institutions as uh, culturally significant. What we can look forward to is that s some of these uh, donors who've really established their presence in the big cities in Toronto and Montreal, in Quebec and in Vancouver and to begin to think about the value and the importance of regional museums and community museums to the overall cultural framework of Canada. 63% of our population is under 25. So you can imagine the larger population is the young people. The, our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren because that's already there right now. And, and their capacity to, to, to use the modern technology systems is something we need to tap into, because they are tapping into many other things that may not necessarily be so uh, positive influence on their lives. We're asking in our marketing strategy to, uh, to target this, the largest population of the youth. Besides doing marketing for touristic purposes, uh, it's to see how we uh, open the doors to Anschegmog and its electronic world to the elementary, high school, college, and university level, so that we take an approach that they become ambassadors to their culture. I've always said that the greatest story has never been told yet. The greatest song has not been sung yet. And the greatest film has not been filmed yet. And each generation must be able to do what they can uh, to preserve what they think is important to them and, and, to, and to record it. I am proud because uh, we were able to take a, a thought, you know, an idea an idea from the elders who uh, told us, well, you know, there's nothing in the James Bay Agreement about Cree culture, and we need to do something because that's important. That's who we are. That's our identity. Now we have a, a facility that is, uh, you know, it's a world-class facility. 
that can uh, we can use to uh, you know for our children for the schools uh, we can use uh, you know to promoting promote the region with and you know to promote uh, internationally we have lived in EUSG in isolation for a long time there comes a time when you have been in a cocoon for a long time where you have to come out of your cocoon out into the world and and demonstrate and be known to the to the rest of the world who you really are and what you have in the way of uh, of a rich culture a language and an identity as a people and i think uh and Stjogen will be uh, an inspiration, uh, uh, build hope, cause people to rise up, to believe in themselves, if they can do it. And there are hunting, fishing, gathering people who live off the land. I think we can do it. Your gift to the Anschagelmuk Acquisitions and Endowment Fund is a unique and powerful opportunity to contribute to the future of this very special place. It is also an opportunity to help showcase a new paradigm for First Nations museums in Canada and around the world. Your investment will help the Anschagelmuk Cree Cultural Institute grow in a measured way and fuel its ability to share its priceless lessons with individuals, families and nations around the world.